Hi, I'm Andrew, and I'm here today with Dimitri. I'm co-founder and CTO here at Endor Labs. He's going to show us the new Endor Labs MCP server. So before we dive into the demo, uh, Dimitri, could you briefly explain uh, what is an MPC server for anyone that's maybe not familiar? So an MCP, an MCP server is a mechanism uh, that most uh, current um, AI tools or AI offers, if you want, use in order to allow LLMs to interact with a local or a remote system, right? So uh, when you ask a question to the LLM, the LLM, instead of trying to figure out everything by itself based on its training, uh, it might choose to call uh, one or more MCP tools. And then the tools are gonna process the information. They will potentially interact the system, interact with the real world and provide input to the LLM in order to complete um, it's work, right? So the the MCP protocol is essentially an interface between the, the LLMs and the AI with the real world in order to exchange data. Okay, and so in this case, we're gonna actually see, um, in this case, you know, GitHub Copilot and VS Code um, calling Endor Labs to get some data and help fix some Correct. dependencies. So we are gonna go and ask some questions or give some tasks uh, to the co-pilot to do. And then the co-pilot recognizes that it's connected uh, to an MCP server that provides a set of capabilities. And it's gonna interact with the tools in order to uh, provide detailed information around the code. And then it's gonna go from there. All right, well, let's see what happens. So we're gonna try to do a demo here where we have an existing code base uh, that potentially has some issues and we're gonna instruct Copilot to interact with Endor tools in order to resolve uh, any vulnerabilities. So uh, my code vulnerabilities and provide me a list with a critical and high issues. So we're giving an instruction to the copilot and the copilot sees that it has in its availability a set of tools that it can use. Um, and we have to press continue here to allow it to use the tools and that's what we are doing. And then copilot starts performing the scan uh, this takes a little bit of time where the tool is going to actually scan the code, interact with the vulnerability databases, analyze all the dependencies and so on. And it's going to come back and tell us whether we have issues or not. So and why are you? Oh. <clears throat> okay, so go ahead. What was the question? Oh, yeah. Uh, why are we kind of prompting it each step rather than just kind of letting it do it all, all on well, its own, it's, as you call uh... it YOLO mode? <laughs> Yeah, well, because there are always security issues, potentially it can use a tool in a bad way, do bad things. So in general, we we try to press the continue button here. Here it, it, it said that it found some findings, so it's gonna get the details. And here I'm actually I'm gonna allow it to continue without asking me any more questions. <clears throat> so it's going one by one and it's picking up the vulnerabilities right now. And it comes back with the responses and says that uh, uh, if you see here, it identified critical and high severity issues. It identified it, uh, a high vulnerability here. It identified some medium vulnerabilities. So uh, we're gonna tell now to actually fix the code because it says uh, actually, would you like me to help update the code? Yes, please fix. My dependencies. So now it, again, it's going to interact with the tools again, try to find the best recommendations in order to how to update the vulnerabilities. And it's applying the edits. 